Hi guys, I'm Marlene and welcome to my home and garden channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a St. Patrick's Day collaboration. It's a tear tree collaboration and it's in conjunction with Penny from the Penny Place channel and Gigi from the Gigi's Creations channel. And I'm going to put their information below. I do hope you'll take a look at their videos as well to see what they came up with. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using items from around my home and a couple of plants from my garden. And I'm going to be doing two different takes using the same things. And you can always leave me a comment as to which one you prefer. So let's go ahead and get started with our two tear trays. So for the first one, I'm going to be using this circular tray as a base. And it has a neutral color. So I really like that because it helps what's above to pop and so I'm gonna go ahead now and get my tear tray and this one is not very large and it just goes to show it doesn't have to be a large tear tray you know you just use what you have and what you think works best with what you're doing and I like the little you know pattern on the edge of this one I thought that was really nice even though it has you know clean lines they come in really well there and this is a coffee pot that actually got passed on to me from my mother so there are great sentimental attachments here I felt that the green color was a good match for St. Patrick's Day and the yellow that's down at the bottom there also is a good match for the plates on the tear tray and then next I'm gonna go ahead and put in my shamrock and I actually got these at the dollar store there are a couple of them in the pack, but I just wanted to use two this time. Just going to put them there as a base on the plates. So we can bring in that, you know, St. Patrick's theme in there. And I got my sugar bowl and I put some tea packets in there because I know that the Irish, that they love to have tea. So even though I have my little coffee pot to the side, you know, I definitely wanted to get some tea in there. And then next... I'm gonna go ahead and get my creamer, but let me go ahead and straighten that out first. All right, so now it's time for the creamer. And let's get that to fit the best way possible under here. Okay. And just make sure that the top matches with the bottom. So I think they're looking pretty good so far. And then what I'm getting next is the flowers. I wanted to use my daffodils. I was really hoping that they would have been ready, but they're not quite ready yet. So I did the next best thing and just got some silk flowers that I had. These are some tulips and I felt that the color was a pretty good match for the plates on the tear tray. So I went ahead with them and they have a little blush too of pink on there. So thought I'd need a little interest to it as well. And what they say is it's best to arrange flowers in odd numbers unless you're doing them by the dozen. So in this case, I went ahead and I got seven of them from what I had for my arrangement. And I'm just gonna go and, you know, stick them in the best way that I can. So we have as much fullness as possible. Because it's a fairly narrow vase, you know, the tray isn't that big. So I just didn't want to, you know, have it too large and then it's, you know, crowding out everything else. Let's get the last one in there and straighten it out. And let me take a look. Okay, I think it looks good so far. Okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and get my rosemary and this is actually from my garden. And I'm gonna link a video at the end um, that's gonna show you how to plant rosemary at home. It could be in containers or whether in your flower beds. So I'll put it at the end. It's a previous video that I did. And I wish you could smell this, guys. It smells so good. And rosemary is actually used in one of the um, Irish dishes. It's lamb stew. And it's one of the main flavors that they put in there. So I thought, you know, it really made sense to use it here. And it's also used to make teas as well. And since we have a little tea theme going here, I figured definitely go for it. So I hope you like that. And then next, I'm going to go ahead and get this nice little um it's like a shadow box i got it at um the dollar store as well 
it had a little a thing on the top but I just took that off and just used it this way and I thought it gave a little bit of a more modern look to it as well to help to balance out that kind of vintagey look of some of the other items there and I leaned it back a little bit just to make sure that we could actually see what it's saying and those are good words too so you know I definitely thought that would be perfect for this and I just put in my salt and pepper shakers I'm really liking the way that this came out and I'm definitely ready for some breakfast now. How about you? <laughs> okay, so that is tier tray number one. And I hope you'll put in the comments if this one was your favorite or not. And for the next one, I'm going to be using a placemat. What I liked about it was the fact that it had all of those different shades of green on there. So it's really pulling that, you know, St. Patrick's Day feel. And it also gives me a little bit more space as far as, you know, the width of it goes. So, you know, definitely a different feel. I'm going to go ahead and arrange the same tear tray again. With the sugar bowl under there, I'm going to go and get um, the other things as well. The coffee pot. And I think I have a little bit more space for the flowers. So I'm going to get those as well. And let's go ahead and get our rosemary in. So it's not very different than the one I did before, but because the bottom is a little bit busy as far as that pattern goes. I figured that I'd get something with, you know, just a little more clean in terms of, you know, how it looks. And so I got the shamrock and of course that's well in the theme of St. Patrick's. We can't leave that out. So I thought I'd put that one there. And I felt that it really came together very nicely. And guys, if you've made it this far in the video, and you haven't subscribed to my channel I do hope that you will do so because I do a lot of gardening but I also decorate with some of the things that I grow in my garden so if you like decorating then this is a channel for you as well so remember to hit the subscribe button and tap on the notification bell and I really hope that this gave you guys some inspiration you know to do your own St. Patrick's Day arrangements or even if you just wanted to use it for any other occasion switch up your colors um, then definitely go for it and give it a try. I do thank you so much for watching. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Take care of yourself and your family and have a wonderful day.